musical underway with the chair of Martin Motorsport, McLaren Barbaro Print, leading off on the line clear of Alessandro Balzan. Amazingly, the field all making it through the Retofilio safely. First time around, the race getting underway on a slightly damp but very rapidly drying circuit. And after a wet pull from that, then we had several cars out of position as the new dry bags Audi of Mina Caccia, Renzo Bontempelli did battle with Sally Yulup, the Aston Martin. Problems unfortunately for Gabriele Lantieri as the MP1 course Ferrari shed a tire just before the pit stops. So Thoris and Kelly Ruggolo doing all they could to stay in the championship fight doing battle with the Solaris Corvette. Disaster though for Ezekiel Perez, Kompanak and Raffaele Giammaria fed out into a race leading position post pit stops with a problem very very early in the stint putting the Air Force and Ferrari out of contention. Meanwhile there was some great battling going on further down the field as Matt Griffin eased his way clear of Nicola Benucci in the Lord Course Ferrari. Benucci was then busy defending late on from the charging Air Force Ferrari of Rugolo and the Thoras. But then it all went disastrously wrong for Benucci, a huge accident at Ascari which the Italian was very fortunate to emerge unscathed. That happening on the first lap of the race brought out the red flag and an early halt to proceedings. It meant that Avaro Parent and Miguel Ramos against expectations, scoring victory. Race one in Monza, clear of Duncan Cameron and Matt Griffin, then passing the Thoras and Michele Rugolo. A very, very important result in terms of the championship fight. The light of the Tier Martin motorsport team. Great race. We've uh, tested yesterday in, uh, in wet conditions. We were expecting rain for this first race also. Tomorrow probably will be wet, but we've been uh, quite strong on uh, both conditions. Uh, well, we're gonna uh, very happy, you know, for, for, for my stint, for the start, and for Miguel's stint was, was good. And uh, congratulations again to, to Teo and uh, to us all. Tomorrow we, we have to manage a little bit and see what's happening with, uh, with the handicap. Uh, I think tomorrow uh, it's, uh, we'll have 45 seconds handicap, so maximum, so it will be hard. Anyway, I'm very happy. We need to do tomorrow the most, as much as possible, points. And then everything, I think, will be decided in Barcelona, definitely. On to race two, and another damn qualifying session that saw the Radical RXC of James Abbott on pole position. To some fine defensive work early on, eventually he was cleared by a charging Ewan Hankey, who was bringing Matt Griffin with him for company. And was then busy keeping at bay the Air Force Ferrari of Kay Rugolo and Passing the Thoris, and also Miguel Ramos and Matteo Martin Motorsport McLaren. The field being tightly bunched early on, we were in for some absolutely fantastic racing. Ramos easing past the Radical into a Scari. And that gave him a break in the air. The driver on an absolute charge was Ezekiel Perez Kompanak in the air, of course, Ferrari. He and Raffaele Giammaria are so disappointed to retire from a race winning position on Saturday, doing all they could to make amends. Meanwhile, Navarro Perrin, post pit stops, was pushing as hard as he could to get up into the points. Also on the move was the Balfe Motorsport Ferrari. Phil Keane and Sean Balfe racing themselves in two podium contention as Parent put together another of the stunning drives which has characterised his 2015 season. McLaren wasn't expecting to go brilliantly at Monza as it proved it was a potentially decisive weekend in the championship for the Teo Martin Motorsport squad as they emerged from Monza well up there in championship contention. Their principal rivals, Passing the Thoris and Michele Rugolo had a wretched day and a lap penalty for a pit lane infringement compounded by that spin. So it's another victory for Ezekiel perez Kompanak and Raffaele Giammaria leading home Ramos and Parent with Balfe and Keane completing the podium. It's everything to race for at the final round in Barcelona. But at Monza it was celebration at home for AF Course. Yesterday, <laughs> bad luck because uh... He, after the drive and change, uh, he was a P1 with uh, more or less a 10 second uh, gap uh, compared to the drivers in P2. 
but we have uh, we had a problem, technical problem in the car. Today was uh, all perfect. He did a very good start, and then the car was perfect. Now the engine uh, is pushing a lot, and so it was uh, very easy to overtake the other cars and take uh, advantage, a gap compared to the others, to, to stay calm until the check red flag. So a big thank you to my teammate and to F Corse for the big job. As Rafa said, uh, these uh, two last races were not so good. Bad luck, but uh, yesterday the guys worked uh, till night, worked a lot, and I'm uh, really grateful to them because they did a, an amazing job. And Rafa also, today the, in the race, did a really amazing job. So I'm really happy for the team, for my friend. And now to celebrate, to celebrate and to keep fighting, to keep fighting.